Hello, my friends. It is Lisa from Lisa Grateful Me. And as you can tell, my voice still is just sounding awful. I've been sick for a while, but I just wanted to come on here and spend some time with you. And I'm doing things a little bit backwards. So normally my schedule for my channel is Monday, I do my mini savings challenges. And then on Tuesday, I do my bigger challenges. I mean, excuse me, on Wednesday, I do my bigger challenges. And then Friday, I do my sinking funds. But this week, I'm only going to get two videos up. And then I'm going to start back on track and have everything go normal and according to plan. So today, I'm going to visit my mini savings challenges because I just want to show them some love. And I have some money here. Let's count it and see how much. Um, I will be adding to it today. So there's 20, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, and 97 dollars. So not a bad amount to add to our mini savings challenges. I have this cute uh, journal right here this is a journal that i created and i just wanted to show it to you guys lately i've been working really hard on having a prayer journal and a scripture journal and inside i just want to show you there's a place for notes but i love this so i write the scriptures i'm working on what i'm grateful for how i see god's hand in my life what i'm asking for in my prayers people who i'm praying for and then answers that come to my prayers. So I've been working on that and I just wanted to show you this journal. It can be found on Amazon and there is a link to my Amazon storefront in the description. Okay, plus it's just, isn't that so pretty for background? Let's get started. So our cat challenge today is going to get $10 and I use my mini savings challenges as a way to fund some of my bigger challenges that I have going on. For example, I have an emergency fund that I'm trying to build. I also have um, a $1,500 savings challenge I'm trying to work on. I can put 20 in and take 10 out. So now this challenge has just the $20, but it is a really good amount. And little by little, it just really adds up. So I hear there's a lot of sick people out there, and if you happen to be sick, I'm so sorry. And I just want you to know that if you leave a comment that you're not feeling well, I will pray for you and hope that you get better. So there's a lot of things. There's RSV, there's um, viruses, there's the flu, there's a whole bunch of things. So if you're not feeling well, I am so sorry. All right, this challenge is so fun. I'm going to use it to fund my bigger rainy day challenge. And this is from Budget with Free. So I'm gonna pick out a cloud here. And I got number 16. Ooh, this one's a heart, how cute. I need to get my Sharpie and I'm gonna add $16. And I'm gonna throw this back in. So once this one's done, all this money will go towards that bigger challenge. Okay, so there's 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16 dollars. Now this challenge, I feel like it has a lot of money in it, but maybe it's just a lot of ones. Let's see. Okay, let's count it. Okay, there's 10, 15, 20, 20, 5, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. 35 dollars for four times that I have just gone ahead and picked money. I mean picked a, a cloud or a rainbow or a heart out of here. So not bad. This is super fun, fun, fun. If you haven't gone to um, free shop, on Etsy, she is crafted by free, and she has some amazing things. So go check her out. All right, this is from my friend Budget with Cat. I know most of my subscribers watch Cat's channel as well. Cat is a dear friend of mine, and I just love her. 
and she sent this to me and I was really excited. This is the first scratch off I've ever done. So you could go ahead and scratch something off and just add that amount, or you can go do what I'm going to do on this sun. So the center was $10, and then I'm going to do this ray right here, and this ray is one. So I'm going to put $11 into this challenge. So there's 10 and 11, and that should make this challenge have $21, which it does. So you can do it a whole bunch of different ways. I also was thinking, Kat, that when you're done scratching these off, you could use this again and color in each of the things and you could do it twice. So that is another way to use this challenge. I'm sure she thought of that already, but I don't know. I was just thinking about that. All right, my puzzle challenge. This challenge is going to go for one of my bigger challenges as well. It's going to go towards my $4,000 challenge. And I think, let's see what we got here. Oh, we have a lot of fives. I'm going to do a five today. So is there just a five? There is. And I'm going to color in this particular puzzle piece. And once all the puzzle pieces are filled in, you know, this, this challenge is complete. I love doing puzzles. Here's a fact about me. I do at least two puzzles between Thanksgiving and New Year's every year. And my husband and I sit down and do them together. And we leave the puzzle out on our big table. And then throughout the day, I'll see my teenager or one of my kids that are busy. And they'll come over and put a couple pieces in. And it's been a family tradition we've done ever since I can remember. And I love it. So... All right, the fall challenge. This one will be completed at the end of November, and I still have quite a few. Um, I have quite a few things to still complete in here, so I'm going to do fifteen dollars. Put that there, and I'm going to color in. Let's see, going to color in a five. So now all my fives are done, and I'll color in a ten. So for the month of um, the rest of October and the rest of November, I have to do those right there. So that won't be too bad. All right, moving along. Here's my little bird challenge. Oh, let me get this in here. This challenge is so cute. I just love these little birds. And they're only worth um, $60, which is a great amount if you're starting off. So if you're new to um, mini savings challenges, go ahead and go to my Etsy shop, the Happy Mailbox Company that myself and my daughter-in-law own and get one of these because they're just simple and they're easy and you can have a quick win. In fact, when this little challenge is done, I'm going to go over and take the money for it and I'm going to stuff my vacation binder with it. So every time I try to have a savings challenge, mini challenge that will go towards my vacation binder. So every, all the time I'm adding a little bit here and a little bit there to it. So this is five, six, seven, eight, nine dollars so far. And like I said, when it's done, it will be a total of $60. All right, don't worry, be happy. This challenge is going to go towards my medical or emergency fund when it's completed and I'm going to color in one of these and add ten dollars this is a bigger one this one is 320 so I'm gonna put a 20 in and take a 10 out and now this challenge has 20 40 60 80 90 95 100 1 105 110 115 120 1 25, 130. So not too bad. All right. Here we go. Moving on to the next thing, my donut challenge. Haven't done this one for a while either. And donuts are just used to be one of my most favorite things to eat. I have started not to eat that much sugar lately. And so I haven't had a donut for a long time. <laughs> But they are delicious, especially the chocolate cake ones. 
This one is an orange glaze chocolate. So there we go. Did I put the $5 in? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. I don't think I did. 5, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Nope, I didn't, so let's add the five. Now this has $35. All right. Okay, I said that we were gonna start a new challenge, and we are. We're gonna start my dog challenge. Look how cute this envelope is. Oh my goodness. And I think we're gonna start off with this challenge, but we're eventually gonna go through all of them. So we're gonna add $5 to the dog today and color this one in right here. This just reminds me of my sweet little um, dog that we have. You hear him barking all the time. And he is just a member of our family and we love him dearly. And he's our rescue dog. We love him, love him, love him. All right, so there's that. These ones are ones that we'll get into as we complete some of these. So there's $15 left. I want to go ahead and I'm going to try doing one more raindrop. All right. If it's more than this, I might have to do an IOU. Let me shake these up. 10. Perfect. That's awesome. Oh, what did I say about the dogs? My son's dog's here right now. They are um, living with us only for one more day, and then they are moving into their new home. We're so happy for them. Okay, I'm gonna miss too my little grandsons every morning coming up and saying, good morning, Grandma. And they do, it's so adorable. They're just little. They're just one and two years old. Okay, $5 left. Well, I can't put it in this one. Oh, do I dare do budget with cat one? I could do the bird one. <coughs> Excuse me. Ooh, okay. I'm going to try a scratch off one. Cat, this better not come back and get me. Let's see. We'll do this one. Three dollars. Well, you know what? Oh, that I shouldn't have done that because I need to put 13 in. Okay, I'm gonna put this five in and next time I'll write me a little note saying that I need to add more money to make that be $13. Oh my goodness, here I thought I was doing something great and I actually messed it up. <laughs> well, everyone, this video is short and sweet. I'm so grateful that you stuck and you stayed and listened to my crazy voice and I can't wait to spend time with you again on Monday when we will revisit this mini savings challenge binder and we will go through the week doing all the things that we do. If you haven't liked and subscribed to my channel, like this video or subscribe to my channel, please do so. I'm giving away a really fun, fun savings challenge as soon as I hit 4,000 subscribers. Have a fantastic day and weekend, and I will catch you soon. Bye.